wow unbelievable never thought that this day will come when i will be filming in this look in this avatar however guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing well as usual the typical lines i don't know why i say these lines all the time irrespective so as you might have guessed already yes this is a traditional indian durga puja look and um, for those who are unaware of what Durga Puja is, Durga Puja is an Indian festival which is celebrated throughout India and outside where Goddess Durga is worshipped for five consecutive days. And for these five days, we wear the best of clothes, the best of traditional outfit, eat the best of food and roam around. It's just dress, eat and sleep and on repeat for five days. So yeah, I thought I will create a look, a quick and easy, the kind of look that I would put together on uh, one of the days. So without much further of a blabbering, let's just dive into the video and check out. So to begin with, I have already moisturized my skin with a regular moisturizer and I'm sure you guys can handle my morning face. Next, I'm going to prime my lips by using this lip balm from Body Shop. Now, I'm moving on straight to the brows. So first, I'm going to brush my brow hairs using a spoolie. Using this uh, brow pomade from Elf Cosmetics, I'm going to fill up those uh, sparse area with a brow brush. Next, I'll uh, fill the remaining area of the brows using this brow pencil from Covergirl. Using this brow setting gel from Elf Cosmetics, I'm setting my brows so that it doesn't bulge. After having set my brows in place, I'm next gonna uh, shape off uh, my brows using a concealer and also prep my eye area for the eyeshadow application using this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Next, I'm gonna use my beauty blender to set everything in place. Moving on to the eyeshadow, the palette that I will be using is from Makeup Revolution I Heart Chocolate. Taking the first shade, I'm applying it throughout the lid and then blending it out evenly. Taking the next shade, I'm going to apply it in the corner and deepen it out. Then blend it all out so that there are no harsh line or edges. Next, I'm also packing the product in to ensure that I get the most pigmentation. Next, I'm going to spray some makeup fixing spray from Elf Cosmetics into a flat brush and dig in that gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous golden color and pat it at the center of the lid. Nothing works better than fingers, right? Next, with a blending brush, I'm going to blend everything out. Taking this next shade, I'm going to apply it to the inner corners of the eyes. Next, I'm going to apply this gorgeous shade to the brow bones and blend it all out. Maybelline Precision Liner to line my eyes. For mascara, I'm using my most trusted L'Oreal Lash Paradise. That's about it. And after applying some falsies, I'm all ready with the eyes. Now moving on for the face. I will be first dusting off all the excess eyeshadow that might have fallen with a powdered brush. 
and moving on directly to the strobing cream from MAC I'm going to take this at the tip of my finger and apply it generously throughout my face and blend it with my fingers Next for a foundation, I'm using my most trusted Milani foundation in the shade Warm Beige. Taking a small compact bag of my hand, I'm applying it generously with the help of my beauty blender and blending it all out. Not forgetting the neck. For concealing, I use my most trusted H.O. Vine from Maybelline and applying it to the usual parts of the face. And then blending it all out with my beauty blender. Next, to set the concealer in place, I'm applying this loose powder from Fit Me Maybelline and taking it and tapping the excess and covering the usual parts where I have applied the concealer to set everything in place I'll use my makeup fixing spray and I just dab it with my beauty blender and when we want to contour I will be contouring the usual parts using this Sephora contour stick in the shade 10 and oh my gosh I just love this one And well, hell yeah, no points for guessing. I love blending. Blend, blend, blend. For powder contouring, I will be using my most trusted Makeup Revolution Contour Palette and taking the brown shade, I'm smoothly contouring my cheeks and cutting those edges out. get a pop of color, I'm using the blush from the contour palette itself. And then with Beauty Blender, I'm setting all that blush in. For highlight, I'll be using my most trusted Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop and taking a big like a big fan brush I'm um, applying it at the highest parameters of my face for lips I'm using this lip liner from Chambord and I wanted a very bright red lips for this occasion so I'm defining my lips first with the Chambord lip liner Next, I will be using this lip crayon from Faces in the shade Rustic Red and applying it generously. Voila! Well, this is the final look that I created. Hope you guys liked it. Next, I'll be moving on with the urines and I'm wearing these gorgeous pairs and I love popping them and I'm going to show you the outfit in a bit. And that's it. This is the final look. I'm wearing this yellow sari with a black blouse. And uh, this is the final look, you guys. And I'm um, almost Behaving like a sorry model here, I don't know exactly know why, but yeah. That is not it guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I did while filming. Uh, do not forget to hit that like and subscribe button. As always, I love you. Bye!